So this is a video about quitting skateboarding. Uh, but before we get into the video about quitting skateboarding, I feel like it would be necessary to show you footage of uh, skateboarding. So let's start with that. Now, hey, can you say it one more time for YouTube? Yeah, hey, yeah. Get who, whose kickflip was better, mine or Dan's? Oh, mine, oh, right? Oh, Thank you. Hold on, I just have to heart that clip. Okay, you're holding the phone upside down. Yeah. I'm gonna favorite it. Hold on. I'm surprisingly tired today. <laughs> Probably the most frowned upon thing in skateboarding above waxing a ledge too much or pushing mongo footed or mall grabbing because for whatever reason how you hold your board is a really big deal uh it's quitting skating itself people just get really butthurt when anyone quits skating and i get it like you have your skate friends and they don't skate anymore because of reason x y or z uh and it, it's it's a bummer but i don't think it should necessarily be uh frowned upon uh there, there's a lyric in a song it's uh it goes something along the lines of i've lived many lives maybe seven just this year and i've kind of always felt that in my own life of where you're kind of going through like different almost like layers of your life like you're just becoming different people constantly <clears throat> man i've been waiting for that burp for like five minutes I and mean, i've never been one to say like i'm skater for life I'm always going to skateboard. I'm never going to quit. Because I'm just like, you know, I remember growing up playing with Pokemon cards. And I was just like, dude, I'm always going to collect these. 
I am never gonna stop collecting Pokemon cards because they bring me so much joy. I love looking at them. I love the whole battling them. Everything about Pokemon cards I absolutely love. And then like three months later, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't care about Pokemon cards at all. And then I got into like yo-yoing and juggling. I mean, I used to play video games. Like I was really into like Resident Evil 2. And now I don't really care about any of those things. None of those things are things that interest me. And I am fully aware that any day skateboarding could just fall into that category. One day I might wake up and I just won't want to skate anymore. And I, that is reason number one. Okay. That was tear. That, that's a me trick, dude. What are you doing? I think I missed the five up. <laughs> Did you? I think so. Oh, damn. Uh, I was like, what are you doing my tricks for? Uh, five? Yeah. You got something else? It's a line. We're it's still going. It's still a line. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we'll go. That way. Up yeah, that way. We'll go that way. I'll that try way. to have a fakey on the thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> This trick list is fucking endless. Oh, you're an idiot. I don't know, but like, I called you an idiot and then pulled the phone away while you were still falling. Ah, oh, lightning don't strike twice. all over the park so you gotta go like this oh oh i'm standing here i'm here trying to clear my path okay uh. Was the last time you did a kibble front board down something? Oh, it's been like a couple months. Oh, I thought you were about to roast it first try. <laughs> I love that you can't board slide that. You literally can't board slide this curve. Dude, I don't fucking like that. What the fuck? <laughs> feeble that goddamn flat board one more fucking time get into a first try huh? if you get into kill from front board first try then i'll think about filming it oh man you're so mean lately i liked when i came here for a week and it was like all about arden now i'm here for a month you're like dude fuck arden you're here for a month <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's the commitment we need did you just hit your face no there it is
All right, there you go. Dan, Dan's a little frightened of the low C at the moment. And in his defense, he caked that ledge with wax. Oh, that one was scary. Might actually need more wax. Uh, All right, pinch it deep, dude. Pinch it deep. I'm gonna be like so deep in this pinch, dude. Oh, dude. Woo, so Three E's. Yo! That was the pinch. Boys, cause the deep. <laughs> uh, he's been watching too much of the boys. Oh my god, that was terrifying. I miss Ollie. Dude, the people's pinch. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Nice and deep. Straight to the gills, baby. This is this is the one. He's gonna land this one right here, honestly. Is that even it? That, I mean, I knew that you were gonna land that one and I called it, but that, that was the wrong way to-, to Yeah, where was I going? That, this thing's actually like pretty scary. He talks a lot, huh? Huh, YouTube, huh? Switch? Yeah, I guess it's one bars, but... Oh, let's film that. The number one valid reason that you should quit skating is because it's not fun anymore. You just simply don't want to. There's a lot of people where they're just like, yeah, I just don't really feel it anymore. But they just like keep, continue to skate anyways. And I was always kind of confused by that. Like, just do something else or just stop skating. Or maybe if you just stop skating for a few months, you'll get the buzz again. Uh, we recently, when I was just in uh, San Diego, actually the video that this footage is from, uh, we met someone, uh, Micah, and she quit skating for like nine years, I think she said. And uh, now she's back into it and she seems to love it as much as ever. You know, the different seasons for different, you know, parts of your life. Maybe skateboarding can be, uh, I don't know, a sequel. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I think another valid reason to quit skateboarding sort of pertains to a uh, good buddy of mine. And I don't think he's going to mind me telling this story. Uh, my friend Lee Cox, I grew up skating with him. Never really grew up skating with him, but I was skating with him for many years uh, a while ago. We had already been skating for a few years. But anyways, uh, absolutely love skateboarding. Like when we would skate, we would talk about skating. We would play skate three video games. All the, the stereotypical like skate friendship. Everything that we did had to do with skating. Or he was constantly kind of like going through jobs and stuff like that and you know just finding different ways of getting money and he ended up moving to Tennessee uh, and he quit skateboarding because he couldn't juggle skateboarding and um, kind of like the grown-up I guess people would say the grown-up side of life. It was just like a, he was just in a situation where it was like he really needed to like get his stuff together and he told me straight up he was just like I know that if I skateboard I'll put skateboarding before my career or whatever else I have going on in my life. And I can't have that. So I just had to walk away from skating for a while. And he did, he stopped skating for quite some time. This is another story of someone who came back to skating. But I mean, it was like, it was like years. Like he walked away from skating, got all of his ducks in a row. Now he's killing it. Like he started making like really good money. He pushed his career forward. He's in a, like a relationship that he's really happy with. And it's like, oh, now I can skate again. Cause everything that I need is lined up. And if he didn't ever get back into skateboarding, that is just as valid of a reason. If skateboarding is too much a distraction for you to do what you view as what your goal is or what is the bigger picture to you, uh, then by all means do it. If your values don't line up with my values, that doesn't mean that your values are any less valuable to you. That's real to you. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what? All, all I was thinking was that Peaches song by Brandon People was like, I get my wax from California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he says he gets his weed from California. Yeah, I know, but oh. he should get his wax. Oh, I, I get it because I'm from New Jersey. Whoa! Oh, oh he ollied, he ollied. Oh, now it's all this speed. Ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh. yeah, sorry we keep getting in your way, dude. It honestly, it's because it, I'm from New Jersey. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Arjun, where are you from? New Jersey. By the way, you roasted that, dude. Oh, that one was kind of raw, though. Yeah, that guy. Un Unroasted. But um, yeah, if if we were in New Jersey, you probably would have landed that already. Is that where you're from? D did you know that I'm from New Jersey? I Wait, wonder if I'm gonna from. say it enough that you can actually make this like rap or EDM club song. Like, he's convinced that he's gonna make a song called "I'm from New Jersey." I'm from New Jersey. You are? Did you not know that? I, I knew you were 
yeah. from the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, from New Jersey. I'm from the East Coast. I'm from Michigan. No, no, no. I'm from a New Jersey, bitch. Hey, oh. That's so sick. Yeah, I'm going really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Roasting the 180 nose grinds. Yeah, like I made it a point the other day to like... Ollie? I'm not slapping it. Yeah, I was going to say you're Ollie. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's so much easier for me to slap you. I'm not. I'm, I'm like finally reversing it to where they're both about the same. I'm not used to seeing you ollie so much. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I don't know. That was kind of a rough start. Of course, that's the one you lock it. To. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh uh. Ooh. Oh my god. You okay? That was, I heard that one. Dude, that was painful. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's just not my day on this trip right now. It was a second ago. Who's roasting who? Yeah, right? Fuck it, dude. This 180 nose grind's roasting you now, dude. Front board kickflip is definitely one of those one and done for me. I finally did one, got it out of the way, never again. Arjun keeps it alive for the rest of us. You don't need to bother doing front board kickflips because he learned them and he never let them go. I know you get kickflip. What? Where are you from? Oh, New Jersey. Did you, uh, make sure you tag him, hashtag New Jersey. The whole state. It's uh, it's like a province. Have you heard of that ever? I I heard it's uh, a they do state. Them, they do them. They do them. They do them like in Canada, like in India. Do you want me to do a front side? <laughs> yeah, yeah, do a front side, Indy. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna choke under pressure. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> I said Indy, not stinky. I can't. Uh, yeah, dude. The I'm stinkiest like stink bug. I tweaked my indies like a melon grab, so I, I never tucked in. So. Okay, so I just tried to slide it back when it was kind of this little rail, and I fell for like nine seconds, so. Ho hopefully I can fall like that again, I don't know. <laughs> fell over the rail, like on the stairs to walk. Dude, there were so many things. Your board like, almost flew up and hit you in the face. That was, like, that was, that was amazing. Right. There we go, okay. Fuck, it, you know it's a weird day when it rains in San Diego and Dan can ollie better than he can slappy. That's, that's pretty sad. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. No way. Okay. It, dude, let it's me okay. see that look of disappointment. <laughs> dude, I can't do that. You know what it is? You're not wearing the maternity pants. These are maternity pants. Uh, well, they're not the other ones. Oh, are you kidding? I'll just do the front curve of the single plug it. <laughs> You guys want to see a, a kickflip from my point of view? That would be a kickflip. Back tail the ledge, then slappy front hurricane, the bump to ledge. And yeah, a actual footage of Dan talking to himself. <laughs> that's content, that ain't footage. Is it the back lip that's messing you up? No, I'm just like, I never back lip down stuff, so I, I like that I'm doing back lips. I'm glad I said it. You, you know what I don't do on uh, rails? Anything from New Jersey? 50-50s. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna no, I'm not. Actually, Don't make me rebuttal you. Yeah, what the hell, dude? I, that was some young kid rule, dude. That's, that's like, she thought she thought that uh, I'm not. You know, you know what she we thought. We know, we know. But there but there are the, more <laughs> bullshit rules to beer pong than uh, there is to any sport. Dude, like, I am so old. I've never heard of the rebuttal rule. 
Every, in my life. Every time anyone did anything, it was like, oh, uh, scurvy on the downside. And then all of a sudden, like, three cups come down from the ceiling and one sideways. And you're just like, what are we doing? And he was like, you have to bounce it off the wall into the last couple. Like, it's like, oh, dude, if I, like, I'm on my period, so that's worth four cups. And they throw it on. It's like, dude, dude. the worst. <laughs> That was good. No way. It, it looked fun. Over that was terrifying. That was bad. That was sketchy. You didn't even let me. That one looked sketchy. Shit, that one was sketchy? Dude, your wheel tapped the rail. That was amazing. Oh, keep going, keep going. Street Little League, let's... Good back lift. That one was bad? Perfect back lift. Oh, oh my, dude, I, I shouldn't have said anything. Don't talk, dude. No I'm more gonna, talking. Dude, you're yeah. throwing me off, dude. I'm trying to roast this, and you're like, good, bad, ugly. Says the guy having full-blown conversations in his fucking five-trick line. Whoa. No, you're not from New Jersey. <laughs> he's, he's, from, he's from Maryland, dude. That's, that's why he uses poop as wax. Um, but I mean that's also a New Jersey thing too. I think it's weird that they don't do that here. They, they should. Yeah. Everything would definitely grind a lot better. Oh yeah. That's why I'm not doing this bag lit. Where do you think paraffin comes from? Paraffin, uh, which is actually the Greek mythology word for poop and thin. Thin coat of poop on rail for grindage. Grind, which is Norwegian for back let this try. You have uh, four more tries. If you don't land it, you owe me Denny's and Cane's. That? It's called hustling. New Jersey hustle. The old New Jersey hustle shuffle. That was I gotta do it again. Yeah, that one was worse than the first one. Redemption rebuttal. Dude, rebuttal, rebuttal. Rebuttal redemption. Go get that. Still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Me personally, I, I hold skateboarding kind of high because it brings me the most joy and I put joy above all other things. But if it came down to it, if I was in a similar situation as him and it's like, in order for me to put food on the table for the people that I care about, I have to stop skating. Like, damn straight, I'd quit skating. Like, absolutely. There's another common one that uh, people get upset with when someone, they get a girlfriend 
and they just they just start skating less. They just they just almost completely stop skating, or in a lot of cases, they do just absolutely stop skating. And their friends are just like, oh, I can't believe you quit skating for like that chick or whatever, like blah, 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 that's so whack. But it's like, that just means that that person values his relationship with that other person more than he values the fun in skateboarding. Maybe that girl is more fulfilling than skateboarding is. Don't get me wrong, skateboarding is surprisingly incredibly fulfilling. I mean, there's validation, there's exercise, there's community. There's a lot of things that comes along with skating that's just really rad. It's a, it's sort of the perfect storm of coincidence that this, I mean, let's call it what it is, this toy brings all these rad things together. But if someone's getting more than that out of something else, or if they get another hobby, whether it's, uh, you know, they get into another sport, they get into bowling, they get into, I don't, I don't know, what, video games, whatever they get into, and they start skating less, they're, that's their decision to make. Who cares? Just because something's less cool than skateboarding is the dumbest thing ever. Because cool, first of all, cool doesn't exist. And uh, second of all, skateboarding's not that cool. It's just really fun. It's the cool thing to do right now. But when I started skating, I didn't have friends because I skated. It's just, you know, right now it's the rules are reversed. And now I have friends because I do skateboard. But anywho, uh, the absolutely valid reason to quit skating for a girl, for your career, for literally anything, every reason is valid to quit skating as long as that person truly believes that. Now, reasons that someone shouldn't quit skating is if, let's say, your girlfriend is pressuring you to quit skating because she doesn't want you to skate. Then that has more to do with like, oh, maybe you should reevaluate that relationship and the power dynamic there and how toxic that might be. Or um, the, another common one is when kids are younger, like maybe you're watching this video and you're a younger kid and your parents really don't want you to skate. Um, you know, maybe you have to stick it out until you're like a little bit older, or maybe you can try to convince them, you know, of all the benefits of skating, both social and physical. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's a whole other battle to fight. You know, that would really stink if you couldn't skate because your, you know, family forbid it. And, uh, peer pressure in general, being peer pressured out of skating is a really crappy reason to quit skating, just as being peer pressured out of anything that you want to do as long as it's not like, you know, detrimental to other people or, you know, something really terrible. Um, it, it just sucks. I don't want that to be for anyone. If you have a lot of friends that don't skate, you grew up in a small town, or maybe just your circle of friends just happen to not skate and they're never skating and you feel kind of isolated from them because your hobby doesn't line up with what they do, don't stop skating, man. You'll, you'll find a squad at some point in time. Uh, skaters definitely magnetically attract other skaters and you'll run into someone and you'll have that one thing to talk about like oh gleebity glah kickflips and dennis business is better than everyone else so i uh, definitely don't quit for that and there's actually a way shorter list for reasons that you should sh wait, wait, wait 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 what am i trying to say there's a way shorter list of reasons that um you shouldn't that are not valid reasons to quit skating the amount of reasons to quit skateboarding, the vast majority of them are valid. So uh, yeah, that's just pretty much the whole premise of this video, me skating with my friends. Uh, and if you're watching this and you don't skate anymore, or you just got out of it, uh, and you still enjoy watching skateboarding, that's cool too. I have friends who don't, they haven't touched a skateboarding in years, but they still keep up on the skateboarding kind, the kind of culture, or at least what's happening in real time with skateboarding via Instagram or skate videos and thrasher.com and braille and barracks and all that stuff. Uh, and that's awesome. You don't need to skateboard to enjoy skateboarding. I watch walkthroughs of video games and I don't play video games. I haven't played a video game in years, but I love watching like uh, what video games coming out next or walkthroughs or speed runs. And uh, yeah, I honestly don't really have even too much of a plan to start playing video games again, unless I do get into that Twitch thing. That actually looks really fun. But I don't even know what game I would play. But Fortnite, like everyone else, that's all Dale does. And that seems awful. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's the video. Bye.